Hola people, what's up? Welcome to the session. I hope all of you guys are doing good, taking care of yourselves, staying safe and also doing everything that you can to keep yourself healthy as well. So welcome to the session. My name is Anup and we are back with an amazing topic. Today we're going to be talking about the five best ancient Indian scientists. Now let me correct that a little guys. I would not say that these are the best uh, the best of the best and you know they are the only ones who you must be looking up to but no here's the thing guys what we're gonna hear what we're here to talk about is some of the some of the most you know important contribution that has changed the world is what we are here to talk about and again guys everyone has been all of the you know it's not like uh what to say the the apart from all these five names i'm going to talk about uh, others have not been the best in their field no that is not the case every single one of them is the best in their own field we are here to talk about some of the most important contributions to the world of science and mathematics all right so let's get started people now before we get started, let me tell you why this is an important session. Why should you even sit uh, and spend the next 20 minutes? See, here's the thing, guys. The world is moving forward. The world is moving forward every day. You're getting older. You're getting, you know, you're getting more, uh, 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 more sound uh, knowledge about what is happening around you. But it's also important to take a step back and see what, what are the things that has happened in the past to see what are the contributions that our forefathers have given, which made our lives a little bit more easier, which has made so much impact in the world all around us right so that is why this 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 topic is such a close one for me so let's get started guys without wasting any more of our valuable time let's begin so the first and the most important personality that we're going to be talking about is none other than mr aryabhatta ji now aryabhatta ji has been one of the you know one of the most uh i would say one of the most promising and one of the most famous names of all times right not just because of the satellite but yes because of the contribution that he has done to the world of physics to the world of astronomy to the world of uh you know uh, mathematics as a whole the invention of zero because until then people we had only numbers till one to nine we did not have a zero and the invention of zero is something that changed everything now imagine your life at this point of time without the number zero right everything whatever you get your marks would have been from zero to nine everything would have been between zero to nine but the invention of zero has changed everything he was born uh, in 15th of april in 1707 that is in 476 uh, ad and he died at 550 ad he was born in patna he was an indian citizen and also he did a great amount of contribution to the world of uh, mathematics as well as astronomy. He, was, he uh, uh, graduated from or he studied uh, in Nalanda universities, which is one of the oldest universities in the world itself. And at the age of 23, imagine that guys, at the age of just 23, where most of us are in probably in final year of engineering or something, he actually summarized everything that was related to mathematics at that point of time. So whatever was there in the field of mathematics at the age of just 23 summarized every single concept and not only that finally also invented the discovered the uh, the numerical zero which enabled him to calculate the exact distance between the earth and the sun and to the world of astronomy guys he did so much contribution you wouldn't even believe he was one of that person who believed that earth is not a flat and uh, still surface but rather earth is rotating about an axis and it is something which is some you know which is not basically uh you know which is not at the center of the universe he actually had this theory that actually you know turned out to be true later on so he was one of that person who could see what was happening uh in the future and he was able to understand that the world is not you know our earth is not the center of the uh, universe and it is not something which is immobile in nature right and that is something that you must be see guys again think about it. at that point of time we had no satellites we had no telescopes we had nothing but yes he still was able to make that observation and that is the level of you know the level 
of logical thinking that our forefathers had right so that is something that you should uh, you know that is something that we can we should try to learn from the second most important personality we're going to talk about is mahavir acharya mahavir acharya was one of the leading mathematicians of uh, you know in the world of uh, you know in in the indian history who was very much known during the 8th century he was an 8th century um mathematician who actually was in gulbarga which basically lies uh, in uh, in the south of india karnataka that place so <clears throat> So I guess so he was born in Gulbarga. He was brought up in Gulbarga. He was the person who actually found out that you cannot have a negative value or negative square root of a negative value. He was the one who actually you know told that it does not really exist. And apart from that, also because he has done so much contribution to the world of mathematics, he found out that a sum of series of terms are square of the arithmetic progression. When you talk about arithmetic progression, which we'll be studying in mathematics later, he was the one who actually made. the first step uh, you know uh, in the in that particular manner he was one who th thought about it in that particular manner he also found the empirical rules of areas and perimeter of an ellipse uh you know and you can you can imagine that the 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 amount of time they spend the amount of again at that point of time imagine that days there is no wikipedia there is no google there is no alexa there is no uh you know what is it uh, google mini there's nothing of that sort you can't uh, the only thing that you have is your own logical thinking and using their brain alone they were able to deduct all of that and that is that is something that you must uh you know because these days it's a lot more easier information our world is an informative world right now anything is at your fingertips but at that point of time that is not the case and still they were able to make some amazing contribution to the world right and that is what really matters and yes guys he also established the equations of sides and diagonals of a cyclic quadrilateral as well so many uh, you know important uh, discoveries in the field of mathematics is what our mahavir acharya has done moving on to the third scientist or uh, you know i would say greatest personalities uh, of the you know in the world of uh, science and mathematics is varaha oh, sorry varaha mira uh, varaha mihira i'm sorry for the pronunciation it's varaha mira i think i pronounced it right but yeah he was also an indian mathematician born in madhya pradesh again has done lots and lots of contribution not only to the world of mathematics but to the world of hydrology that is the study of water to the world uh, to the study of geology as well as ecology lots and lots of contribution in fact he has done a lot of in a lot of you know theory on his uh, on trigonometry in you know and also he has actually uh, stated this theory called as the, the earthquake cloud theory which is basically a theory which states that if there is a earthquake that is going to happen the cloud formation could actually give you an information about whether the earthquake is going to happen or not now again guys this has not been you know completely uh, would say scientifically proven uh, to be more precise but yeah it was something very intriguing people wanted to know because uh, you know detecting earthquake is the one of, one of the most hardest thing you cannot detect earthquake so easily because even though you have your you know richter scale and all of that it still can you can't predict earthquake to be more precise now these days you can predict for example if the if there's a cyclone formation you can predict it because you have satellites to do so but you cannot predict the earthquake formation but according to his theory in his book he has written that uh, the cloud form formation could actually help you to predict uh, if there's going to be an imminent earthquake or not and to the world of uh, trigonometry has done a lot of contributions like i would uh, i was saying before until you know that you have these different values for sine and cosine right so this uh, you know he actually made a contribution to that you know your sine table and all of that up to four decimal places and in fact the formula which you will be using in your mathematics sine square x plus cos cos square x is equal to 1 is actually formulated by uh mara bara mahira himself now again guys i'm really sorry for the pronunciation but yes you get the point the, the there's a lot of again you even study about it even today and in fact he was one of those personalities who also made this observation that there is some sort of force which is known as gravity which is basically holding us all up you know which is holding us on to the ground but again guys uh later on it was not you know it was later isaac newton who went and theorized it but yes it was 
was uh, Varamira, uh, Varhamira, who actually, uh, you know, made that first of observation. But then later on, again, it got lost in time. But yeah, there has been, uh, you know, there has been certain uh, uh, scrolls, uh, certain literary work that has actually stated that it was him who actually theorized it before, uh, you know, Isaac Newton himself. The next is, yeah, you know, you know what I'm going to talk about. The Maharishi Patanjali from the Patanjali products. You know, you know Patanjali products. I'm pretty sure everyone knows Patanjali products. But no, guys, this is not the CEO or the person who's running Patanjali products. But he, in fact, is the, uh, he's the one who actually, uh, you know, he's more known for his yoga. He's known as the father of yoga. He has invented about 900, sorry, 197 yoga sutras. You know, this different, you know, like Shavasana and all of that. That is the only thing that I can that, that I remember because it's easy to just lie down on the ground and then sleep, right? So, anyways, so he is known as the father of yoga, and you know, named after him itself. The Patanjali products have started. So basically, guys, he's also you know done a lot of work on in the world of medicine and grammar as well, known as Maha Bhasya. So he has basically contributed a lot to the world of literature in the world uh, in the world of grammar and also some uh, in the world of medicine as well. Finally, guys, we we have Charak. Now, Charak is one of the world's first, I would say, doctors and surgeon or you could say a pathologist who actually, you know, told the world that, you know, he actually... You know, you know, uh, studied about the human uh, body and understood how, the, you know, how medicines affect people and what are the different kinds of diseases that is affecting us. He actually did, uh, uh, you know, he actually did a lot of research uh, on the human body. He was known as, he was actually a Raj Vaidya, you know, that for a king, they would have Raj Vaidya and all, that is the royal doctor who basically takes care of the royal family and stuff. So he was one of those, but he actually was one of the first person to, uh, you know, talk about digestion metabolism immunity that is you know how your body fights against diseases how your body digests food how do you how does your body actually utilize the food that you eat all of that he actually again by doing a lot of research uh you know he was able to discover all of these and he also found out a lot of ways that you know how diseases are affecting our, us and what are the ways that we can protect ourselves and what are the treatments that we can possibly give to those particular diseases now again guys i'm talking about back in those days right now everything is uh you know everything all already set you know because don't see uh I'm no offense to all the doctors, obviously, they're doing a fantastic job. But back then, again, we did not have so much information. We did not have so much information to gather. We did not have the internet to tell you what uh, your gut looks like, what does your inside of your body looks like. But Charak, on the other hand, uh, I shouldn't be a Charakji, uh, uh, out of respect, uh, has actually you know, done a lot of contribution in the world of medicine, even without all of the technology that we have today. I right, guess. And these, my friends, are the five great personalities that I wanted to talk about. Now, if you enjoyed the session so far, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to hit the like button because we have some amazing content coming your way. We'll have sessions like this where we'll have we'll give you guys information uh, not only regarding NCRT and your ICC and your regular syllabus, but outside the syllabus also. We'll have a lot of fun together with that. And we'll also be studying our regular ses sessions as well. So don't worry about that. You would be, you know, getting the complete syllabus over here for free on the Vedanta YouTube channel. So do not forget to subscribe to Vedanta 9 to 10 English. And also guys, if you're enjoying the session so far and you want to study with us, uh, you know, just like in this manner, if you want to study with us, you can also enroll into the Vedanta Pro subscription courses where you get the best of the best teachers again, just like, it's not like we're going to reduce any quality over here. No, it's not that. But you can be, you'll be getting a little bit more extra uh, features out there in the Vedanta platform. So let me tell you what are the advantages first of all guys before we end today's session. So we have unlimited number of live sessions first of all you have high level quizzes and these quizzes will give you an opportunity to understand what are your weaknesses and what are your strengths with that people you can also get the recordings of every single session and also check out the leaderboards while watching the replays and check out the uh, take part in the quiz as well you can also download all the premium content every single handwritten note every dot every comma every colon is downloadable and you can re refer to it how many number of times you want with this people you also have in class doubt solving as well as outside the class doubt solving in class doubt solving with the help of the class teacher because you don't have just the master teacher who will be teaching the concept but with the master teacher you'll also have a class teacher who will ensure that 
all of your doubts are cleared inside the class itself so you are in safe hands i can you know i can say you that with a lot of confidence that you guys would be in safe hands with that guys we have lots and lots of micro courses where we have courses where we have uh, you know teaching uh, teachers teaching you art and science and you know uh, and uh, you know what to say we have breathing classes we have a uh, stress relieving class a lots and lots of fun activities is what we have at vidantu over here so yeah you're going to have a lot lot more for a lot lot less so how do you enroll into the courses guys it's quite simple let me just quickly take you through that and then let's see what we can do next so here's the thing guys for example let's say that you are at the vidantu uh, platform right now so you're probably watching this video obviously you're watching it on youtube make sure that you subscribe to the channel so what you do is guys click on show more click on the description go to this option this red this green tick subscribe to Vedantu Pro right now once you click on this link guys it will directly take you to this page where you can check out all the details so yes guys you can check out all the details all the prices everything would be given over here itself so you have three different types of courses Vedantu Light, Vedantu Classic, Vedantu Pro Plus Vedantu Light will have everything that you need but there will be no so you have live sessions you'll have test series you'll have assignments you'll be down you'll be getting a doubt solving inside the class but there will be no doubt, doubt solving outside the session Classic on the other hand will have doubt solving outside the session also with the help of Vedantu app and Vedantu Pro Plus will have that with that you also have the personal mentor so the personal mentor would be that person who you would who would be your source a single point of contact who will ensure that your doubts are getting cleared you will have one to one sessions with that person and he will ensure that you are in the right track so the price of each of these would be different because obviously you are getting different features so one month program of this one is 3060 rupees and the year long program is 27,449 rupees and the one month program for Vedantu Classic is 3,870 year long program is 35,099 and the year long program for your Vedantu Pro Plus is 15,399 and the one month program is 550 uh, uh, 500, 5,580 rupees now again guys you might think that the price is a lot but think about it 3,000 rupees for this 3,000 rupees you're getting all the six subjects that is physics, chemistry, math, bio, English as well as social science so if you divide it divided by 60, 3,000 divided by 60 that's still about 500 rupees per session and you're going to be getting a lot more you can check out all the details all the teachers every single thing that you need all the class timings all the details that you need would be given in the website itself so you don't have to worry about any of that all of that is given right there in the description in the uh, in the website so check it out and see for yourself all right and also guys you can take up the vedantas improvement promise which tells you that if you feel like there is no improvement in the course even after you enroll in you see no improvement in your score you can get your complete fee back without any questions asked yeah people so that is also an option now think about which institute gives you that guarantee that if you don't see improvement in your score you can get your money back and that is what that is the kind of confidence that we have in our sessions and trust me you'd feel that in the sessions Otherwise, right, so that's pretty much it people that's all for today these are all the days that the batch was starting again you will be a new set of batches will be starting pretty soon so yeah do not forget to like share and subscribe thanks a lot for joining i really uh, hope you enjoyed it i really uh, thank you for uh, spending your time with me i sincerely hope that uh, you and your family are staying safe it's not good out there so please stay safe guys and may god bless you with happiness and lots and lots of prosperity all right good luck for your exams good luck for your future see you then until the next time we meet this summer, signing off. Bye-bye. See you. Take care.